Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 204. 204. Gosh, I hope you're not bored. Anyway, what I decided to do today is I've had a couple requests, or not, yeah, requests, questions, asking me what antenna do I use with my shortwave radio, specifically the uh, Grundig 750 that I use a lot in in my videos. Well, I use an outside antenna. And the reason I use an outside antenna is because my office is loaded with electronics and they all interfere. And so I can't use the built-in antenna. So I have to use an outside antenna. And I think for shortwave listing, general shortwave listing, one of the best antennas is an antenna called a G5RV. Well, the big disadvantage of that antenna is it's really long. It's 102 feet long, so you got to have a lot of room. So anyway, today I wanted to uh, kind of touch on getting an antenna. Now, antennas are a huge subject. There are thousands of antenna designs and antenna theory. There's books, big, fat books written on ten antennas. There's books on how to build your own antenna, so it's a huge area. Well, today we're just going to try to talk about just antenna for the shortwave listener. We're not talking about transmitting, talking about shortwave listing. So here we go. So we're going to talk about shortwave antenna. And we're going to talk about antennas for the international broadcast shortwave band, which is 4 to 23 megahertz approximately. So that's, that's the kind of antenna we're looking for. We're not looking for going all the way down to 80 meters uh, or already up all the way up to 6 meters. We're just kind of in the middle there for the international shortwave bands, the international um, shortwave bands. Did I, did I say that already? Huh, it must be early in the morning. Okay, moving right along. But what we have to consider for this exercise before that is... We want to keep the costs around fifty dollars or lower. Now that my G five R V is a commercially made antenna and twenty years ago when I bought it it was about sixty dollars and now it's about a hundred dollars. So there's a price problem right there with that. So we're gonna kinda of stay away from that. The next thing we're gonna consider is a minimum area required. And as I said on my uh, G5 RV, it's 102 feet long. It's a, lo it's a wire antenna. And so you have to have a lot of area. And what I have got it strung up on my second story, and then I've got sloping down to the two corners, the two opposite corners of my... Um, lawn area hot living space and not living space my outdoor my my yard my yard gee whiz my yard so i just make it it just makes it i think i've got maybe 10 feet left on each side that i use the string to tie it to some trees tie the end of it to some trees so we're going to look at not that big antenna but min minimum area required you know something oh under 80 feet, say. And the next thing we're going to look at is, or consider, or think about, is easy hookup to the radio. No adapters required if possible. Now, my particular hookup with the GRV5, it comes with what's called a PL259 connector on the end. Well, my Grundig 750 has a B and C connector for one of its antenna connections. So I have to use one adapter. I could cut the PL259 off and put a B and C connector on there, but then that antenna would not work with my other radios. So I use one adapter. So I keep it to a minimum. Okay, next thing to consider is inside your house or outside. Ideally, you want the antenna outside your house and have the antenna come in 
through a shielded coax line. That keeps the noise that's in your room or in your house to a minimum because it's shielded. So that's ideally what you want is outside and brought in under shielded cable. We also will touch on some inside antennas if you don't have a noisy RF environment causing noise into your radio like I do. You might be able to get away with an inside antenna. Okay, next thing is amplified antenna or not. And that gets back to noise. If you have noise in your area, especially if you're using an indoor antenna that's amplified, you're going to amplify that noise and it's not going to help any. You're just going to get more noise and the signal, it just you're not going to hear the signal. So the question is amplified or not. I would suggest not amplified. That's just my suggestion. And we'll, I'll show you an, well, an amplified antenna uh, in the antennas that I show you. Okay. Next thing is, do you want to build it yourself or do you want to buy it? You can build a lot of s simple antennas. It, some of them are really simple design. But you have to go build it. You have to go get the supplies. You've got to get the right supplies. You really need an antenna analyzer to verify that you've got it impedance-wise matched to your radio because your radio has an impedance or resistance plus some other factor of typically 50 ohms, in some cases 300 ohms. And you got to figure out what you're matching that. The better you match that, the better your reception will be, although it's not as critical when you're just receiving as it is when you're transmitting. So I'm going to say we want to buy it already pre-built. Okay. The last thing is, ideally, we want a complete antenna system. We don't want to have to go out and buy the antenna, the coax, the adapters, and all that stuff. Ideally. So we want to try to keep the number of pieces, pieces that we have to purchase to a minimum. Okay. Let's go look at some antennas. And if I can figure out how to do this. We'll go to the internet and we'll go to my commercial Amazon store. So here's my Amazon store, which you can purchase some of these antennas, which I'll show you a few of them in a minute. And this, the sad part about I was checking my Amazon store this morning for antennas to see if I could add some more or whatever. And about 50% of the antennas that were on the Anzana, uh, Amazon are no longer available. A couple of vendors that uh, sold shortwave antennas are, are no longer on Amazon, so I had to shorten my list. So I went from like six pages to three pages. Okay, let's just pick out a few from my Amazon store. Okay, let's go over here. Here's one. This is um, an indoor antenna. It's very short. It's about 20 feet long. And if you don't have a lot of RF noise, this will definitely help your reception. And as you can see, it's only $13, $14 plus shipping. Or if you have an order over $25, it's free shipping. So that's kind of the bare bones minimum. Again, it's not the ideal situation. The ideal situation as far as I think is having out, outdoor antenna. And I did a review of these, and what I, and the review I did um, is I had it outside, away from my electronics, and it did really improve things. But if you are trying to use this in the room, and the room has got a lot of RF noise, it'll just make things worse. Plus, if you've got RF noise, your, your reception is going to be pretty poor anyway. So anyway. Moving on. The, uh, the next one is an amplified antenna. This is um, just one of many that's on Amazon. Um, it's a very short antenna, and it has a little amplifier. Again, the amplifier is going to amplify any noise you have in the room. This is an indoor antenna. Okay, moving on. Now, we're going to go to eBay. Wonderful eBay. And this is just an example of a number of antennas that look like this that 
basically looks like from the outside a piece of PVC tubing, and it has either just a wire or a coil wire inside of it. And um, it's about three feet long, I think, I'm guessing. And it's $29. Now, there's several of these on eBay. Uh, some selling for $19.95, and I really don't have any feel for what's the difference, or if they're any good or what. But that's that one. The next one is the old Slinky. This is a Slinky toy back in the 1960s. You could buy a Slinky toy, and this is where somebody has taken a Slinky toy and uh, wired it up so that you can stretch it out around your room. Again, primarily for inside. Okay, now, this is the antenna, basically, that I have. This is the G5RV antenna. And this is a not a commercially made one. This is a homebrew, but it looks pretty good. And now mine is commercially made. It looks a little fancier, but not much. And this is uh, $54 plus $12 shipping. So this is, like I said, it's kind of high. And the commercial ones now are selling for about 100 bucks. So if you want to go this route, this is, again, an outside antenna. There's your coax line to bring it into inside the house to shield it so it doesn't get RF noise from inside the house. And it takes 102 feet. This is 102 feet stretched out. And you uncoil these two coils of wire and you string it across your yard and away you go. And this will probably, for shortwave glistening, give you your best uh, reception. So those are the choices. Um, I'm really also looking for inputs from People have used some of these basic antennas and what they've found. So please leave me a comment, or if you don't want to leave a comment, send me an email. Tell me your experiences. And tell me also which one, I've got this one, this one I'm using, which one of these you want me to try? What do you want me to try? I've tried this one. I have this one. I have not tried um, this one. And I'd like to think I'd like to try that one. I'd it's fairly cheap, and I wonder if it really does anything. If you've used one of those, please let us know. So anyway, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.